The Commerce Day of Wesley College, Colombo was held this afternoon under the theme, Our Role in Facing the Economic Crisis. Students from 50 schools in the Colombo district, including all the leading schools as well as international schools in Colombo, were invited to the event. Hope and rebirth protect our event and grace our event. I would like to kindly invite the following distinguished individuals to light the traditional oil lamp. The event focused on grooming the youth on how to pursue their careers in the next few years when they join the workforce to lift the economy as executives, managers and entrepreneurs. Calm and collected individual behind the scenes to run the show to ensure everything goes successfully. Mr. Shivan Daniel delivered the keynote address while popular artist Peter D. Almeida also addressed the students. Now coming to the crisis very quickly, because you're a common student, I tell you this, because it's good for you to know this and go and share with your parents. We are facing a very, very difficult situation. And I'll explain to you in a few words. We have our creditors, I mean, we are bankrupt. We can't pay back our loans. There are three types of creditors who are coming behind us. Private creditors, the big companies that have bought our bonds. Then we have governments in a club called Paris Club. Good for you to know these things as common students. The biggest creditor of a lender there is Japan. Then we have bilateral. We have borrowed from China, we have borrowed from India. About 30 billion. Now, the problem is this. The IMF comes and tells you, you are not sustainable, your debt is not sustainable, take a part and under that. So then they give kondes. Now you saw those kondes. Price of fuel up, food up, gas up, kerosene up. You are going to face an enormous crisis for poor people. What are the taxes? That's how you get start playing a role in the crisis, the understanding the crisis. Then the IMF tells you, your debt is not sustainable. You have to go and get your debt cut. Hair cut, hair cut. You have to get it cut by 30%, 40%. We don't know. IMF would have told the government, get it cut by X percent. Now, each of these guys don't talk to each other. So if you go to Japan and say, can you cut 40? He'll say, sure. Make sure India, China and the private creditors are going to take a haircut. Already the Chinese government has said, no haircut. We can only delay the repayment or we can lower the interest rate. So we are off to a bad start. If the president comes and tells them, I'll come up with $2.9 billion, don't believe that. The $2.9 billion from IMF will only come when we have reached agreement with these individuals. Now, that can take, an expert says it can take as much as 11 months for those negotiations. Already we have gone and annoyed the Japanese. But the Japanese ambassador said one of our ministers was corrupt, took a bribe. The government appointed the commission. They said no and they brought him back as minister. What do you think the Japanese ambassador would feel? He's a representative of the Japanese government. He will say, okay, you come for the negotiation of the debt, Abibala. The crisis is really bad. It's going to take a lot of suffering.